Kanchan, uh, tell us a little more about this data that you presented showing Rahul Gandhi having below average attendance inside the parliament. Yet has the authority to say what he said. Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, uh, first of all, I, you know, I think you are uh, you are mentioning me as a BJP spokesman. I am not a BJP spokesman. Uh, I work for the government. I am a senior advisor in the IND ministry. Now, uh, the reason this data has been put out is because uh, this serves two purposes. One, his claim that the opposition is not allowed to speak in parliament uh, that lie has been nailed with this data. Number two, if his own performance record is so poor, if he has been so tardy, and if he has absented himself from parliament, not participated in proceedings, he's participated in only six debates, and look at the state average, the Kerala average and the national average. And then he has the gumption to say, that he is not allowed to speak in parliament. So, you know, uh, you can stand in front of a foreign audience uh, in London and, and, you know, people there are not uh, aware of what's happening in parliament of India uh, and, and make any kind of wild allegation. But data does not lie, and this is data from parliament, uh, and uh, this is irrefutable data. So now it is for him and his party to respond. You know, what, what does the data say? That he's not, he's not attending parliament sessions? And uh, would you be able to divulge for us the exact detail? How much has Rahul Gandhi attended? When you say below average, really what's the percentage are we speaking of here? No, no, I have put out, put it out, I have put out all the data. I mean, yeah. it's not like... Uh, Go I mean, on, I, I, tell I, us a little more. You see, if you, if you just look at the data that I have put out, there have been instance, I mean, there have been entire sessions when Rahul Gandhi has not attended the house even for a day. The, I, I mean, uh, his uh, um, uh, attendance is 52%. The state average, the Kerala average for uh, MPs from Kerala is 84%. The national average uh, is, uh, I think, 79%. And, and if you look at the data that I have put out, there, is, there are sessions after sessions where his attendance is 0%. You know, uh, Palmi Saha is also joining us, uh, uh, Mr. Kanjan Gupta. She has a question for you. Palmi, go right ahead. Mr. Gupta, the question, uh, of course, is that Rahul Gandhi then, uh, is, is that what uh, the government, as a representative of the government, uh, you're saying, and of course, uh, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad has held uh, a, a press conference as well in his capacity as uh, chief uh, BJP spokesperson as well. Uh, if the allegation is then that Rahul Gandhi is misrepresenting how uh, the Indian parliament functions and how opportunities are given for, uh, to every member of parliament to speak. But he is, of course, unavailable and he's uh, extrapolating it and saying that the opposition is being silent. No, you look at, you, you look at the uh, data related to debates in Parliament which I have put out. There are, there are debates and debates and debates in Parliament. His fellow MPs from Kerala, including Congress MPs, including CPM MPs, and uh, other left party MPs, other UDF MPs, IUML MPs, they have participated in those debates. The state average for Kerala's participation in parliamentary debates is a whopping 68.2%, which is higher than the national average of 41. And his own participation is at 6. He has participated in only 6 debates between getting elected from Wayanad in 2019 and uh, 2023. And then to say that I am not allowed to speak in Parliament or that the opposition is not allowed to speak in Parliament, that's an egregious lie. I mean, uh, look at the... Uh, which uh, refers to his uh, participation, which uh, says his attendance is about 52%, which is 
whereas the state average of Kerala stands at about 84 percent and the national average stands at about 79 percent. Uh, this is concerning attendance itself, but what he's saying is that the opportunity to speak itself is not granted. I mean, you know, if you are not present in parliament, where do you get the opportunity to speak? If you are not present at, in the India Today studio, and then you say that India Today does not let you host a show. And I mean, if you look at the last tweet which I have put out, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's totally mind-numbing. I mean, A, there is Parliament of India, which is a functioning parliament. There are debates happening. There are questions being asked. There are private members' bills being um, tabled, and they are being debated. And if, if he does not, if he chooses to not participate, he cannot be dragged in uh, uh, chains and uh, leg irons to Parliament House and be forced to participate over there. If he elects to not participate, if he chooses not to participate, how is that that he is not being allowed to participate or that the opposition is not being allowed to participate? But sir, the opposition, for instance, I'll just take the latest example for uh, the first half of the budget session of Parliament. The opposition's argument was they wanted to uh, debate the Adani Hindenburg report, for instance, uh, because of, uh, you know, the alleged uh, allegations of uh, stock manipulation. And that wasn't allowed. The opposition was silenced on that regard. Sorry, Parliament proceedings are as per rules of Parliament. The opposition needs to uh, submit... Uh, 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 the, uh, the, uh, uh, their request for a debate or a deliberation or whatever under rule number so and so or rule number so and so to the speaker's office or to the uh, uh, presiding officer's office for the Ra for Rajya Sabha. Speaking then, done, then, no, no, then, listen, you, I don't think you are aware of how Parliament functions. There is an all-party committee which decides the week's agenda. It is, not the, it is not the presiding officer who decides. So why is it that the all-party uh, committee, which decides the agenda, uh, not putting it up on the agenda? So you're saying that when the opposition participates in the business advisory committee meetings, they do not raise these issues when it is decided what the week's agenda will be? Of course. I mean, I'm, I'm just giving you, I'm, I've put out the numbers. I mean, if I mean, if, if there had been no debate, then how is it that six? I mean, MPs from Kerala have uh, participated in 68 debates. How is it that uh, 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 I mean, the national average for MPs participating in debates is 41, and his own participation is at six? 